Okay, there's the ivory room. A lot of guys admiring seamless editing. A lot of guys admiring balconies in this place. You can't help it. Architecture's just so amazing. It is. I think that chair is shaped like a butt now that I think about <laughs> it. Good lord. Just ass-based architecture in here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was a long way down. Did you scare those dancing ladies? I don't know. And yeah, that fall, that, that fall, that still, it kills him even though he hit the water. Ah, uh, well that is like 40 feet. Oh, and yeah, those, those fish are devouring him now. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that part. Uh. Yes, the... The ravenous sea rat of Dunwall. Well, John, you're from Chicago, right? Yes. Have you ever been to Cleveland? I have not. Did you know that there is a river in Cleveland that catches on fire? Eh, rivers catch on fire sometimes. They this, this one river has caught on fire, like, something like eight times. Really? They have signs now that say, please stop catching the river on fire. No throwing your c your cigarette butts in. Yeah. Okay. Oh! oh. Down he's so goes. relaxed. Or is that humming coming from somewhere else? I don't know. Oh, but he just fell right through the universe. I killed him so hard, as you can see. Custis Pendleton. <clears throat> Quietly. Anyone you want. The high overseer, for all I care. I've never been this drunk. Some of my friends say I look like Lady Boyle. Waverly. That lucky trollop. If I found those Remember the boils on my estate, I'd be throwing parties yeah. too. I'd be buying the Lord Regent's favor too instead of begging for money. I didn't mean to upset you, my lord. Wait. Wait. On second thought, maybe you should dress up like her. Yes, I think I should like to teach her a lesson. I would be glad to, my lord. He's wearing one of those Cub Scout like neck clasps, too. Black. Or red, perhaps. Let me think about this. Waverly did always like black. Oh, was that Lydia? That actually comes up later, the red, white, and black. I don't know if... It, it, if they ha I don't know, they don't seem to have any custom heart lines, unless I just didn't get aim it right. The girls do not like this new Adam. She is not kind. Now, if you... All the assassination targets, if you kill them from the front, they each have their own special death animation. They all die differently. And you'll get to see that here. Get him by the neck. Oh! Oof. Rough. But that's not the only way it can happen. Meanwhile, in Earth 2, this is the back, this is the rear kill. Oof. Equally rough. Oh, yeah. As I recall, this is when I just screwed up, but I left it in because it was funny. <laughs> just send him over the couch. The thing, the way I killed him from behind, driving, you know, driving the blade into his collarbone, that's yeah. like all the assassination targets. If you stab them from behind, it gives you that one. Yeah. It's specific to it's specific to the assassination targets, but it's shared by them. Looks like you got the lady in this one. Ah, uh, no, I, I tranked her. Oh, okay. Unconscious. I 
know it would make no sense, but I'm really sad this room is not called the Ebony Room. The Ebony Room? And the other one would be the Ivory Room. <laughs> Because you're a Michael Jackson fan or for Devil May Cry? Uh, both. Okay. Meanwhile. From behind, I actually can't tell where the vision cone is facing. It actually, that's a, that, that is a thing, actually. It can be tricky to tell. So when that guy cleared his throat and you turned around, it looked like he was looking right at you. <laughs> Now, I know that you can just go right across to those other buildings, so do you think that's all procedurally generated, or or is that like a skybox over there, do you think? I'd assume it's just a skybox. Nice. I mean, I can't imagine there, there's actually stuff there. But that's a huge bed. It is, yeah. Although it's actually kind of inconveniently shaped. Yeah, like a circle. Yeah, some of the, the prostitutes, they have their own, they have some, uh, you know, uh, heart lines as well. So is that a prostitute? I yeah. couldn't really tell, yeah. She has kept a rag doll from her childhood and hides it under her bed. The streetwalkers only harass her to play. Ah, oh, so it can be a nice TV. That sounds like my mom. Traded someone for a bottle of wine? Yeah. That's a... That's a joke. Oh! I thought it was some family tragedy or something. I didn't want to say something insensitive. No, no. One thing I like about some of the... Okay, now we're back to the... Uh, I just killed that guy. One thing I like about some of the heart lines is they're kind of like, you don't know really... No, it's just like there's no context for them, so you don't know what exactly she's talking about. But it just hints at possible stories, you know? It wasn't her fault. There was a struggle for the pistol. It could be all sorts of things. Do you think... Do you think people who are suicidal actually plan that? Like, on this month, on this time? Uh, a lot of them do, yes. Oh. Not know that. Yeah, suicidal people usually um, they usually plan it in advance. They generally plan it in advance. Oh, John. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's a dicey one. That's like a five-story fall. Oh, sorry, so sorry to trouble you, ma'am. Why don't you just take a nice nap? Uh, I did not to make light of that, but it reminds me of that uh, episode of Friends where George, or the guy who plays George, Costanza. You think that that would be Seinfeld then? Oh, oh you mean oh the actor was on Friends? Yeah. Okay. And he was um, at the office, and Phoebe's like being a telemarketer for the day to get some money, mm -hmm. and she's supposed to sell toner over the phone, and he calls her. She calls him, and he's like. Um, no, I don't need any more toner because I'm going to kill myself. And Whoa. she starts flipping through the script and she goes, um, could that be because you are out of toner? <laughs> that would be an extreme reaction to lack of toner. <laughs> then again... <coughs> Is toner even a thing we still use anymore? Uh, yeah, if you, if you use a, um, like a uh, laser jet printer, sure. Oh, okay. Or like a laser printer. If you use, like, a laser printer, yeah. Mine does. Oh, okay. Because I got this... I've got this printer that... It prints crazy fast, but I was able to get it cheap because it it does nothing but black and white text, so... Hmm. So you can't do pictures? No. Or That's colors. 
But it's cheap and crazy fast. Just the way I like some. <laughs> that was uh, awful. Especially in the context of this level. Yeah, I know. At the bordello, so. Let's, back, let's get back to something less unsavory, like murder. Now I need to just get back into the... I believe at this point in the game, I actually got confused and assumed that he actually was, in fact, in the basement, the way he was the last time I played the game. So I go down into the basement first. Mm. Because I'm kind of an idiot that way. But th that way you'll get, to see, you'll get to see what the basement's like. This part tricky. After you've killed that guy, once you're passing through here, some more guys spawn behind. Well, spawn back that way and start coming in, hmm. so you, they can catch you unawares. Interesting. And is that only for high chaos? I don't know. I don't. Not, no, I believe that more guys will appear on low chaos when you kill guys when you kill the assassination targets as well. It might be fewer on low chaos, but yeah, this is a good way to sneak around. The, this is a good area to, way to sneak around this room. Yes, yeah, they're there. Yeah, I think those dancing courtesans are gone. Are they? I'm pretty Wait, sure no, there they are. Them. I see them. No. Yeah. Whoops. Yes, nice. Spread out. There's been word of a ruckus. No details yet. Still, nobody just notices those people. Carry him away. Look, if anyone asks, you fell down the stairs, all right? Onto a blade. Nice. Directly onto, onto a blade at throat level. <laughs> that dragged itself across your trachea. He tripped onto my knife. All right. Now, see, that's not... That is not one of the Pendletons, but I got conf I thought, oh wait, is that them? And I, oh, I do something rather nasty to those people that you're about to see. You can one of the things you can in some of the incidental dialogue or maybe one of the notes, they mentioned that one of the, like the steam pipes are faulty and you shouldn't turn them on. Okay. And then I realized it wasn't them, but. Morgan and Custis are going to take hours. They always do. Tell me then. How can I satisfy you? Could you? Well, there's a part of me that's never been the same since I was in the fighting pits. There was a hound. But we are not the only one this happens to. It's like she's giving him a manicure or something. <laughs> yes, ever since those days with the hound, I... Just my nails have always been so terrible. <laughs> the hound ravaged his cuticles. What? So yeah, so yeah, you can find out from some elsewhere in the place that the steam vents are faulty and should not be used. That's right. I saved my game here just to because I, I hadn't done this my last playthrough. I didn't know what would happen. Add the crank wheel. And give it a turn. What is that noise? Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh! How unpleasant. That's the end of them. Oh dear. And then I load it. And... Then I reloaded, because... At this point in the game, I still had certain vestigial remnants of conscience. And I felt like, well, I shouldn't have boiled them alive for no reason. 
These feelings would soon pass. <laughs> I mean, ever since those dog pits, that guy's nails. Yeah. I just had to take pity on him. That sort of tra He's had enough tragedy in his life. I mean, just, you know, being boiled in steam, that's not going to do his nails any good. Or, or maybe it does. I don't know how nail hair works. <laughs> 